up everyone i can't go into 2016 without first taking out time to thank my current subbies and viewers yes even those of you who haven't subscribed yet i still appreciate you too you guys are the blood in my veins that keep me motivated and churning out content for your viewing pleasure I try to jam pack my doll reviews with an accurate report of the functionality of the dolls I purchase and to do that I gotta speak the truth so I hope you guys have been walking away from those videos with the information you need to decide how or if you want to spend your money on a particular doll product. If you are a naughty person like me and like to live vicariously through your deranged group of dolls, please check out my doll series, Broken Barbie Show. More episodes are coming your way. I'm only one person, so I'm working as fast as I can while juggling my real life responsibilities to get you guys some dolly entertainment worth watching. But keep in mind that it is for mature viewers, so if you are a child, get your parents permission before you watch and or just don't watch it because I don't want you to get in trouble. <laughs> it's very inappropriate. Okay, on this episode of Doll Event, we're going to discuss the made to move Barbie yellow top and the allegation that she is a Target exclusive. We're also going to discuss wave two of the made to move dolls. Now, I suspected before that yellow wasn't a Target exclusive. After purchasing this doll, which I did a review on, so please have a look at it. I am more than convinced she is absolutely not a Target exclusive. What I do believe is that Target promoted her before other stores did by creating a listing for her on their website. You couldn't order her there because she was always out of stock and until now none of their store locations seem to have her in stock either. First. Most Target exclusive toys will have labels and writing on the packaging advertising that this product is an exclusive for Target. Of course they would. Target is a business and they pay people tons of money to advertise and market their products. What better way to attract customers than to boast on the packaging of a product that it can only be purchased at your store? Duh. Now. The yellow top doll's packaging is pretty much the same as the other three dolls and no, there is not any labeling that indicates it's a Target exclusive. The footage you are seeing here is my own. I purchased this doll at Target and there's no such a label. Okay, here's the second reason I don't think the doll is an exclusive to Target. Check it out. More of my footage at Target where we clearly see this Asian doll or purple top on the shelves. If another doll in the same wave is at this store, I would doubt the yellow top is exclusive. Why? They don't even advertise the purple top doll on Target's website. Meaning, just because you see an ad for her online doesn't make her only available in one store. And just because you don't see the ad online doesn't make her unavailable in that particular store. Target employees told me they never know what will arrive on their trucks when new shipments come in. So, whatever their warehouses send, that's what they have in stock. I think that's pretty significant. Other store employees tell me the same thing, like at Walmart, Big Lots, you know, these people, the big box stores, I guess you call them, they don't know. They don't know what they're gonna get until they get them. So I wouldn't rely on just what the websites are saying as far as what items they will or won't keep in stock. All right, reason number three is one of the most convincing to me. I have some subscribers, some viewers, and Instagram followers who have told me they have either purchased or seen the yellow top in their local stores. Guess where? In Europe. Shout out to Cleo McFoo on YouTube who informed me in a comment that she saw yellow top at Toys R Us in the UK. Yo, Toys R Us is not Target. Therefore, how can this doll be a Target exclusive? For me, that's reason enough. I mean, I don't see why these people would need to lie and make up stories about what stores they saw Yellow Top made to move doll in. Especially not more than one person. I could see one person would lie, but a whole handful of people, they really don't have any reason to lie. So I believe my viewers. Reason four. These dolls have been known to appear in random Toys R Us stores across the nation, so there is an assumption that only Toys R Us will carry the other three dolls. But again, my viewers have been telling me 
they've seen or bought the other three dolls at Walmart. I beseech you, my dolly fans and collectors, let's stop feeding into this hype that this yellow top doll is only available through Target, at least until Target or Mattel actually confirms that this rumor is valid. So far, I haven't heard that confirmation, have you guys? Maybe Target is the first to carry yellow top, but I doubt that based on the evidence, they will be the only store with her. I think all the prospective sellers are probably playing catch up and waiting for their full shipments to come in before they just blast out and start advertising and promoting that they're going to carry this particular doll. So be patient and keep all the stores with the toy aisles on your radar. You will find her eventually in, I don't know, any of those stores, maybe not just at Target. The bottom line is, this doll just wasn't marketed correctly, and omitting her from the back of the packaging of the other three dolls in this wave, that didn't help at all. So, once more, when it comes to our dolls of color, we have to diligently hunt them down so as not to let them pass us by or become neglected. This is how brown dolls become inaccurately classified as not in demand, or their sales are reflected as low, causing toy manufacturers to have a convenient excuse not to produce them at all. Remember, most corporate American companies are not creating products to reflect the world, but to shape the world that we live in. I'm not going to say more on this topic, however, I trust that you guys will be critical thinkers and really reflect on what I just stated. Alright, on to the next topic. People are already wondering about Wave 2. I was sent some photos from my subby, Will World Forever, as well as Tevin the Toy Guy, who tagged me in some photos recently uploaded to Instagram by Jersachi Franks. Sorry if I didn't pronounce your name right, my bad. I don't even begin to know where or how these photos were obtained, but here it is. A sneaky peeky of Wave 2. So far, I only see two dolls and I have no idea what the other two might look like, but I have my eyes and ears open to report to you as soon as I have more information. I hear the one on the right with the red hair is the same complexion as the fashionista with red hair and freckles with the cowboy boots. Yeah, but I don't own her, so I am not sure how she compares in complexion to other dolls. But for those of you who have that particular fashionista, you have an idea of what skin tone. Now, the other doll is really what piques my interest. I can already tell I'm going to need about mm, seven of those. She's blonde with some pretty curls. I'll definitely keep one face on this body, although I can't tell what sculpt she has either, but look at her skin closely. She's the same tone as Nikki, and you already know there is a handful of fashionistas who could super use this body, for example, Ice Cream Romper from the 2016 series. And what about Romper Chic, eh? She was so beautiful, and I would love to see her ultra articulated. You know what, I also have a star doll and my lovely repaint, Rainy, who started as a sew and style shell with the same skin tone as Nikki. Not to mention Nikki her damn self, why not put her on a better body? She's been donating long enough in my camp. <laughs> so here's the deal, we don't know what complexion the other one or two dolls in the next wave will have. I'm praying that we'll see that deep chocolate complexion like my dolls Royal and Tyree. Uh, those two were both fashionistas. I would love to see some male dolls in this line. Personal trainer Ken. I could rock with that. But seriously, don't leave out black Ken. And don't give him the same old Steven face for goodness sakes, Mattel. My prediction, based on what we have studied in this video, is that more made to move dolls will be released in the next year and Mattel will slowly segue us into these types of bodies as the new standard jointed dolls for Barbie dolls. The price is not likely to stay at $15. They will gradually introduce more face sculpts like the diverse line of fashionistas and add accessories and makeup to help drive the prices up. Maybe even revamp the packaging to make her really look worth more than 20 bucks. But that probably won't happen for a little while. First, they will test out our reactions to these yoga themed made to move dolls. Now, I am cordially asking my fellow doll community members to stand together and be very vocal about how much we want and love the various skin tones for the ethnic versions. 
The very light complexion was a huge hit considering all the Asian and light-toned dolls that have been neglected in the articulation department over the years. In fact, I believe the tan one and the Asian one are the most popular versions of this doll, short of the black one that no one could seem to find because the stores haven't stocked them yet. So we gotta stick together and let Mattel know we like the variation in complexions. We need to communicate publicly so their marketing spies will know without a doubt we do want variety. We want the other gender with the action figure type bodies too. Let Ken eat and talk on his phone, Mattel. Let him scratch his nose and sit cross-legged with the kids. We need to be vocal, everyone. Otherwise, a closed mouth don't get fed and we'll just never know what our demands could have gotten us. I think it's worth a shot. So, that's all for today. I thank you so much for listening to my report and opinion stated in this episode of Doll Events. I want to hear what you guys think and I hope you guys will share and communicate any news you hear on these topics by leaving a comment below. Also, you can follow us on Instagram or Twitter at Broken Barbie TV and catch me in between videos. This is Gypsy for Broken Barbie TV. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video and others on this channel. And put them in your favorite playlist. Visit us again. Until I talk to you guys next time, have a dolly day.